Hello YouTube, welcome to the battlefield of the grudge match between Point Man and Hyro. We are going to be playing on the Crossroads map. Uh, quite an interesting map and quite annoying if you have match locks. And this would be the worst fall of the Samurai map in history. Because you would not find any good locations to shoot from. It would be brutal, I'd have to say. And we are going to be spectating uh, Point Man again. Uh, who is the Usegi? And uh, because I put a ban on monks, they're not quite that powerful, but there are fo at least four monks here, so... Uh, we'll give him a bit of an advantage in the monk section. The only I love the Usegi colors, though, I've, I've got to say. Ah, yes, that's how you use that camera. I was trying that camera out. Because I have a split screen, or a dual monitor set up, that whenever I move my, house, my mouse this way, it pops onto the other screen and I can't rotate. See? Well, if I hold it here. we. So, I want to do a bit of advertising. Because this is getting dull. So let's do some advertising and make it even worse. I have set up my secondary channel for Let's Plays and Casual Gaming. Um, a lot of um, different types of games. Um, probably going to be doing a bunch of Zelda playthroughs. Um, I did, I'm did. i doing some Star Wars Battlefront 2 stuff. Awesome game, I've got to say. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, probably do all kinds of different games. I'm not really sure which all games I'm going to do yet. Uh, I kind of feel like just doing random stuff. I'll probably put even some StarCraft 2 stuff on there, but I really suck so bad at that game, and I don't play enough of it to be considered anywhere near good. So I'm not even going to bother showing how terrible I am. Let's let's just say how terrible I am. I'm in bronze. I should have been in silver, but I was demoted, and it's impossible to get out of bronze. It is seriously impossible. You have to get, like, 1,200 points. It's retarded. So anyway... Onto this battlefield. We have a lot of spears, as you can see. I don't see a single sword. Over here, we see some katanas, a bit more of a mix, um, some matchlocks, some light cav, yari cav, bow cav, great guard, great guard, which are an extremely helpful in classic. Probably the best cav unit in classic, and it looks like he's trying to sneak them around. Um, not working too good, as it appears. And point man bringing back some bow warrior monks. Got some Yari Ash, some Light Cav over here. Um, he probably has. I think he might have some other Cav. Yes, here it is. Uh, great Guard, Light Cav, probably. Oh, only one Great Guard. Hmm. And Hyro again with the Bow Cav. And he's got this little flanking army that's just sitting there. He better pick that up or it's going to be a waste of money. Got some Mashlock Samurai. Looks like this is going to be their battleground of choice, which is probably the best spot on the entire map to play. Plus there's a nice little shrine there. Um, looks like Point Man's just going to rotate a little bit. He favors the kind of uh, micro style, which is basically spread out your units like insane amounts and surround your opponent with sheer numbers. Um, most people in Shogun 2 that still play Shogun 2 are like this. Right click to victory. Click, 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 click. Done. You win. That's their style. Nothing against you people that do that, but I mean, it's just, there's no skill. No skill. Well, unless you call clicking, right clicking a skill. But, that put aside, these are two quite skilled players and a pretty good match. Unfortunately, I have no tournament matches to stream on the on the TWCC tournament. Looks like there's an ambush over here with some light cav. Um, I think they'll be able to intercept that. And here's some more. Ooh, very nice around there. That cav is totally done for. That cav will not get out of there alive. And it appears he's walking these units. He needs to really get that that uh, bow cav out of there or it's just gonna die, which in fact it for sure will. And there's no prize out of this little match here. The only prize is saying that 
you are the champion of classic. <laughs> Which everybody really wants that title, I must say. And the fact that nobody really plays Shogun 2 anymore would... Well, okay, you know what, that, that could be an inaccurate fact. I could be saying total lies here. But that's, that's what I think, because it's almost impossible to play a 2v2 on there anymore. And it was always kind of dead, which is un rather unfortunate. These Bow Warrior Monks doing some damage. Uh, about 12 kills, 15 kills. Ah, uh, about 45 kills, all told. Um, so Hyrule lost pretty much all of, uh, at least half his cab force there. And Point Man has, has pretty much his entire cab force still intact. Um, which is not good for Hyro. And it looks like, ooh, that is very poor positioning if that matchlock got charged right now. But there is a Yariashigar escorting it, so it should be fine. And I think we might have an engagement here, and this Yariash is just going to get shot by those Bow Warrior Monks. But there's an attack with the Great Guard, and the Yariash should be easily able to intercept that. If he just keeps right clicking with those uh, Bow Warrior Monks. And Point Man is just going to kite back to more favorable position. And Hyro is very much out of position and just kind of awkward feeling and he's just gonna crush this right flank because he's now isolated it by kiting which is a very clever tactic if he meant to do that maybe not that's the thing with this game sometimes you do clever things that you didn't mean to do and this light cab is gonna get absolutely annihilated by this great guard because it is that a light cab. And pointman has got a great guard here that can just kind of saunter over here and BAM! Kill all that whole entire flank if you really Our wanted to. Oh my goodness. Oh, for a second there I thought that that light cab was gonna die. And here comes the great guard. And here's the main engagement, or at least somewhat still kiting. Just continuing to pull back. I just wanted to check something about my rules here. Where are they? Here they are. Okay, no, they're they're totally fine. Okay, just checking. And as I said before, Point Man has completely annihilated that flank, but there is a great guard kind of running around and killing everything, including a bow and a general. Juicy, juicy target. Um, he's just kind of attacking all the units he can find. Um, there's a warrior monk unit that's been kind of isolated but as soon as this comes in then uh, well Hyro the way he's positioned his units he's gonna be able to hold off this flank as best he can with this uh, dojo to kind of um, block it he's gonna adjust a little bit but he's still got some spears he's got a reserve katana over here this gonna this katana is gonna get side charged and in fact oh my goodness what a bad position to put your general oh my goodness there's a, there's, a, there's a monk right in front of you. And he's not going to pray you to death. No, no, no. And this is a suicide charge, but it's a light cab, so that's totally fine. But here comes a great guard, but there's a monk in reserve. And all this cab is just going to whip around. And just smash right into the front. Um, at this point, I would have to say this cab could, can turn this entire battle around with just one hammer charge right in the middle here. Hyro really has to break this flank. If he cannot break this flank, he's going to be so screwed because this whole entire army in the middle is just going to crash into his into his middle. Unless he can get this matchlock in a good position to do some real damage. Uh, this Naginata Samurai and this Warrior Monk are duking it out. I think the Monk will win that one unless there's some support given. And this Monk is going to be able to intercept all this Cav. And this matchlock will kind of cover this little angle here. And if he cannot kill this flank soon, he's going to be in big trouble. Because there's still a monk holding up his reinforcements. And this Naginata is also holding up his reinforcements. And he's getting flanked. Our men are running from I, I'd have to say at this point, this is just not looking good. Way. And he needs to stop moving this this uh, Matchhawk Samurai. He needs to just start shooting something. Uh, preferably this monk unit that is juicily right in front of his face. Uh, there's a katana unit here. He's going to try and use it to flank this and try and kill this off. But I don't know if he'll be able to do it in time. Because his units are already beginning to waver. His general has died. Oh, um, correct. Oh, no. It hasn't died yet. He's still alive. But his general has now routed. 
And that will spell the end of his army. I would have to... Yes, his army is dead. So I will have to declare Point Man the champion of the classic battle side of the things. Of this little grudge match. So he has breaking rights. GG. So we will move on to the Avatar Conquest part of this little uh, grudge match tournament sort of idea. And we'll see what happens. See you on the results screen. Welcome back to the results screen. Seattle Steel Point Man deployed 1,935 and lost 1,275, killed 1,794, and Hyro deployed 2,085 and lost 1,794 and killed 1,270. So we will go on to the Avatar Conquest part of this, swap hosts, and I'll see you on the, mo uh, the Avatar Battlefield.